All right, but all right, cool. Moving on. Jazz play at the Blazers. I, I, jazz fans, man. Yeah, all right, y'all, go ahead. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. I'm not even going to be mad at it. Just talk your shit. Ever since I, t- legit, when I tweeted that clip to Donovan Arnold, Mitchell, you that? he's all right, but he's not real. I don't, Donovan Mitchell, I'm sure you didn't see it. Maybe you might have seen it. <laughs> if you did see it, since that day, he has been hooping everybody to the moon. He was a player of the week a couple weeks ago. Um, he's been playing really good basketball. You I, just I, there's got nothing him more. Too early, bro. There's nothing more. No, it was like after twenty games, it's, it's not that. I mean, early, but bro. also I still feel like teams are gonna make another adjustment. But also, you was telling me last year he was gonna be an All Star this year, not an All Star this year. I'm taking the Blazers to win this game at home. This is in Portland. Dame wants to get revenge. Dame took the L versus Russ. Dame needs to continue to go out and annihilate. Portland, I think, is still in the position of where if they if their core guys don't want to get traded away. Um, you have to continue to win, and you don't want to start to slide, especially as we move in toward the All-Star break, because now that the trade deadline is after the All-Star break, um, it, ex- it affords the teams a little bit more time to be able to make moves, as opposed to before, all of the moves that might have come in a week or two are now coming now, if that makes sense. So you really got more like, really like four to five more days of it. And if I'm the Blazers and we just start losing, for the next six games, a hey, who might want one of these fools? Because you're not going to win a championship with this team. So I'm taking the Blazers to win uh, 103 to 99. First of all, I don't think the Blazers are playing for a championship. I think they plan to stay relevant and put people in the seats. And I think that everybody on the team knows that. I don't think that's what they plan for a championship. But they got the only team. Uh, CJ don't only, know that. Yes, CJ told CJ, Katie. CJ don't know that, but CJ know that. CJ know that. He just don't want to admit that, but he know that. Deep down in his heart, he know that. You the only team in town, you, you just want to keep people in the seats, and that's what they doing. That being said, I think the Jazz win this game. I think it's a very favorable matchup for the Jazz, even if they won. I don't, I don't know. Rubio is always in and out the lineup, but they didn't want to put, um, I think his name is, uh, I know his last name is O'Neal. I forget his first name. Uh, but even if, he, if, if Donovan is running point guard, then it's like O'Neal in there. They got the size advantage against the Blazers. Obviously, Gobert is in the paint, so that pretty much probably eliminates Nurkic and also eliminates a lot of at-the-rim attempts. Um, and I just think Utah is finally figuring it out and playing much better basketball than what they were in the beginning of the um, season. I think Corver has helped out a whole lot, Yeah, obviously. Corver was, was, was very – he, great, he great, opened the floor, opened for floor them. a lot for them. Um, so I'm going to pick the Jazz to win. I think the Jazz win this game like – O'Neal's name is Royce O'Neal. Royce, right. Royce. Um, I think that the Jazz win this game like – 116 to uh, 110. We gon' slide, yeah, we gon' chill. She said she loves me, I'm her.